Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. This is episode 30 of Tech Dive TV Help Desk, and today we're covering what happens when your Windows 7 machine says it's not genuine. What happened? It was genuine yesterday. Well, perhaps when you installed Windows 7, you didn't go through the activation process. Now, to activate Windows in the first 30 days, it has a little icon at the bottom of your system tray over on the right-hand side. It looks like a little key. If you click on that, you can activate Windows. You'll need your Windows code, which is a uh, multi-digit and letter code with dashes in the middle. It comes with your Windows disk, or it might be on a sticker on your PC. Uh, once you, that's, uh, time has passed, that little key does not appear any longer on your taskbar. So then you have to go through a process to actually get your Windows activated. You go to your, and I'll have the link at the bottom of this video, so you can actually click on it and see what you have to do. There's three ways you can activate. You can activate online, you can activate via modem, or you can activate via telephone. But you have to have the key, the Windows key, to be able to activate. If you don't have that, you have to see, you have to use it by phone and get another key. But you right click on your my computer and you go to properties and you go to activate windows and it'll step you through the process of activating. Once you activate, it'll tell you that your windows is now genuine and it'll stop prompting you that you have a bad copy of windows. I mean, you know you paid for it, you know you installed it, you know it's genuine, you just have to activate it to let Microsoft know that you know that it's genuine. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Have a great day.